Sasuke. Hey guys, today I'm outside. I'm officially starting off my garden project. So today I'm actually going to prepare some seedlings. Um, I gathered some materials I can show you. I collected all these toilet paper rolls and I folded the bottom so that I can just use it as a seeding pot. And we have gathered a lot of these egg cartons. Today I'm going to sow um, these strawberries. I got two varieties. Um, this is called Ampeli Mansika, uh, like a bucket strawberries. And then there's a Gu Gaosi Mansika. Um, these I've never tried before, but apparently they taste like forest, uh, like wild strawberries. And I really like the taste of the wild strawberries. Other things that I got that I'm also going to sow today is kale. I actually never tried kale. But I've heard really good things about um, kale. I think they're also supposed to grow fairly well in a little bit cooler climate. And here I have two different types of tomatoes. I have a cherry tomato and, um, and this other tomato. It's, um, it's called the moneymaker. Um, these I think I'm going to start in an egg carton and probably move them in a bigger, bigger pod as they grow a little bigger because I think these egg cartons might be a little bit too shallow to hold the full seedling. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have them grow inside and then once we have the place to put them outside and when the weather gets warmer, I'm going to move these, uh, move these out. Also gonna try growing my own basil because basil is really good. I really like having them fresh. I'm gonna try growing them from seeds this time and and then maybe plant some outside in the summer. This is sesame seeds. My mom actually brought them um, for me. Uh, this is the seeds that people make the sesame oil out of. But you can also eat the greens as salads and it's a very common green to have in Korea. So I wanted to try planting them and then see how well they grow here. That's the agenda for today. I think I'm gonna start with um, maybe something easy and fill out these um, egg cartons with some soil and put some seeds in. Can you see the seeds? They're a little bit reddish brown, so you can kind of see them. Just trying to rub that in. Just to cover it. I'm working on regular tomatoes. These seeds are a little bit bigger, so I mostly put just one, but some of some of them I'm putting two because I'm probably gonna move them anyway. And then if they both grow, I can just separate them. This is really calming activity. I think I'm going to enjoy this new hobby very much. Something about just filling in these things with soil and putting the seeds in and just gently covering it. It's all very relaxing and it gives me it gives me a lot of hope that these will actually grow into food. Especially in times like this, I think we can all use a little bit of small joy and hope 
I thought I had way too many egg cartons, but it turns out I'm actually going to use all of them. So that's great. <laughs> I still have kale and tomatoes that I need to still plant. I don't think there will be too many seeds in this one, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with this. Oh, swans. Swans are actually flying really low. But they've been really, really loud because the spring is coming and I guess they're looking for their their mates and stuff. They're actually even quite loud during the night. From tomorrow it's gonna get a little colder again. Today it was again like up to 10 degrees. Really warm, but it was quite windy. I should have started this a little earlier because now the temperature's dropping rapidly and I'm I'm feeling quite cold. What I really like about this whole process is that I get to use so many of the materials that I already have or things that I, I otherwise would have gone to trash. Um, ever since we moved out here, um, we've been trying to reduce like trash in general. All the food waste goes to our compost now and we collect all the plastic to recycle and of course like the metal and glass and cardboards so there really is an actual um, trash coming from us anymore which is also really nice and of course i'm making all these my cat is going crazy <laughs> um, and of course i'm making all these seedling pots from um, you know these cardboards cardboard cartons and uh, toilet paper roll the, since these are also biodegradable I get to once they are like brown I could also just like plant this as it is like into the ground and they will just decompose and become become compost I just really like the whole idea of being able to use everything that we have and not waste a single thing being resourceful and all No, I actually never realized cherry tomatoes and tomatoes the seeds are actually about the same size somehow I thought because cherry tomato tomatoes are smaller I thought the seed might also be a little smaller I really need to show you what it looks like out there because it is absolutely beautiful it's really too bad I don't really know how to capture this beautiful color. It is extremely vivid, but it just... I can't see it through the camera lens. It is really, really beautiful. Wow. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to wrap it up because it is now getting a little dark and a little too cold. So I'm gonna just bring the finished ones inside and probably continue tomorrow. I have these, all these rows are <laughs> strawberries, the two types of strawberries, and these are the regular tomatoes. I was hoping to get a little more cherry tomatoes, but I didn't realize there were only nine seeds in this in this packet all right i brought these in already filled with soil these are the seeding pots seedling pots that i have left and i still have um, kale and sunflower and the sesame seeds Maybe I will save these seeds. So I think that's enough kale. I'm gonna put the sesame seeds in the rest. All right. 
right, kale and sesame seeds are now planted. I'm going to adjust one of these and then I'm done for today. I guess our kitchen counter will be pretty crowded for a while. Tomorrow I'm gonna continue with, with the pots, the bigger pots, so that I can plant some salads and basil. So those are the two things that's left. Yeah, it's been my long time dream to have a garden and grow something. So this is all very exciting. Um, I'm really glad that I'm finally taking this into action because um, I've been telling myself um, maybe this year I will plant something and grow something, but I never bothered to learn those things. But it's one of the um, thing that I, I that I really wanted to make it happen. I'm going to try to document all the steps that I go through from now on of building the garden and maybe like planting more stuff outside and hopefully, hopefully harvesting. So wish me, wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.